This story is proof. If there's somebody in the world out there trying to do some good, there's always a snake in the grass trying to screw it up. Gary Wise from Bentonville, Arkansas, owns a real estate company called Whitley. So he knew he was going to have a luncheon for his company. So what his plan was to have the luncheon at a place called Oven and Tap. But everybody that came to this luncheon for this real estate meeting would tip $100 to give to the waitress or waitresses that waited on them. Mr. Wise had even called ahead to find out their tipping policy to where he could make sure that he could give it to the waitress or waitresses and which waited on them. The whole thing was to pay it forward. Ryan Brandt happened to be the server that night for this party of 40, plus another waitress who wound up going home sick. The plan was for them to split the money that was given to them between those two, thus paying it forward. The grand total of everything that was raised that night was $4,400. So this is where the snake comes in. So the shift manager comes up with this bright idea. Hey, we want you to give us that $4,400 and we'll pull it all together and we're going to separate it throughout the restaurant to the other people that work here. And we'll give you 20% which I guess would have been okay if you had always pulled your tips, but you just wanted to pull the tips for that night. This is Miss Brandt and Mr. Wise. And Mr. Wise is telling her how much money that they're going to give them for a tip. So Miss Brandt tells Mr. Wise about what's going on, about having to pull the money. And he was not happy with that because that is not what he intended to do. So he went and had the restaurant cash out their gratuity, and he gave her the money cash outside. So when Miss Brandt goes back in the restaurant, she ultimately gets fired because they said she violated a policy for telling people what was going on with the tips in the restaurant. So as you can guess it, that was immediate backlash. Oven and Tap from Bentonville, Arkansas got absolutely bombarded on Google and Yelp reviews. Plus, it was so bad they had to turn off their Facebook page because of the bad comments. And Miss Brandt already has another job. So remember, when somebody's out there trying to do good, there's always a snake in the grass trying to get their hand in it too.